Good morning and welcome to Stampin' and Cheryl. Stampin' and Crafting with Cheryl Diana. <laughs> um, I'm Cheryl Diana and today I'm going to show you one of our gorgeous Easter stamp sets and punch, the Easter Bunny. And we're going to hopefully make three cards today. Um, I've just got back from six days in Rotterdam for On Stage. Um, it was amazing. I met loads of people. I got sneak peeks of new products from the new catalog. I've got new catalog. I've got some cardstock <coughs> um, to show you. So let's go and have a look at what's on my desk. So this is the stamp set I'll be using today, the Easter Bunny, because he is such a cute bunny. And it comes with oops, the matching punch. But before that, I have, whoops, it's all getting muddled. I have a copy of the new catalogue. I can only show you the front at the moment until it goes live, but but I will be ordering them ready to send out next month. Okay. But a sneak peek of the new colours that are coming in. So we have got, I can remember them, Peach Pie, which is an oh, orangey type colour. We have got um, Summer Splash. Um, I'm still learning the names. The Tuna Pop, which is a pinky colour. Shy Shamrock, which is a lovely green. And a returning colour, Lush and Bride. Okay. So all those that get a catalogue will get a sample of that. And these are the samples I made. So we've got the five in colours, like so. And for those of us that like colouring, they've brought in a new basic colour. So we've got basic beige, which is lovely to stamp and then colour in. So you don't get that harsh black line. So that's the sneaky peeks. So let's get on. So the stamp set and punch we're using is on page 50, the stamp set is. And you can see we've got gorgeous little sentiments. We've got flowers, we've got three bunnies. This one is slightly different colouring, you can see. That highlights the fact is that the punch will punch that one out. Okay, so... Let me grab my notes. So I thought we would use some use up some of our designer series paper. Because if like me, you have loads. So we're going to be I'm going to be using the bright designer series series paper. So what colour shall we have? I think I'm just so I think we're going to go for I can't think what colour that one is. Um, Coastal Cabana. And we will go for Lemon Lime. And have I got the Granny Apple? Have I got any Granny Apple left? Well, we could have a bit of Lost Lagoon in there. I think we could have some of that. Got some dots, some stripes. Yeah. Any, any, any other colours that I can use? Oh, there we go. There's Granny Apple. So I'm thinking we might choose these colours. So I'm going to grab one of the joint. And grab the dot one because then I can have the stripes behind it. Okay, those to one side. So I'm going to start with a basic white thick card. 
card. Face. So I'm going to do a um, lasso card. Some people do it as a tent fold. I personally do not like tent folds because I think they'll fall down. So I tend to do them so they open sideways. So it's just a standard card base, like so. And then I'm going to burnish the edge, like so. So a tent fold card would open like that. I prefer them to open like that. So that's my card base. Next, I'm going to cut some strips. I think I'm going to make them, if it's 14, make them just like, I'm going to make them four and a half centimetres. They can be any size you want. You can, you can have thinner ones, thicker ones. So, that side. And then this colour. And then I want them to be... Because the card base is 10.5 deep, I'm going to be having 10 centimetres for my um, length of my, for my strips. So... Just cut these down. And then this one. Right. So it's just oops. I'm on fingers and thumbs today. Right. Let's move that over so, so, so I know you can see it. Right. Okay, so. I'm just going to stick them straight onto the, this is going to be a really simple starter card. Like so, that looks pretty. So I'm going to stick those down. That's my brand new glue. So during on stage, I got to meet some people from head office. Um, obviously other demos that I know. And I actually managed to meet up with some new demos. And I spent a day sightseeing with three lovely French ladies. And we were and we were we were discussing what to have for lunch. And one of them had never had fish and chips. So we had fish and chips for lunch. And then we we walked we walked loads and loads and loads that day. And then we let me just do the other edge one so I get that one smack bang in the middle. And then we went on the boat cruise and where they where they gave you pancakes. So there were savoury ones, plain ones, and apple ones. And then you could choose what you wanted to add add to it. So I went for the apple one. And bunged loads of sweets and chocolate on top of it. And it was really nice. But obviously you couldn't eat too many of those. And, um, and then those that know me that I love my Starbucks. I managed to find four different Starbucks in Rotterdam. So I was able to get my Starbucks fix. Right, so... This is my background. Now, you, you could use this for any type of card, any any stamped image, any sentiment. So I'm just put that to one side and grab my basic white cardstock and my stamping pierce mat so we can stamp the little bunny. So I'm running out of space today. So I think we will have the little one here. So they, they are a photo polymer stamp. Oops, oh dear. I just dropped the rest of the stamps. So, <coughs> we, 
You lay them on, on a flat surface first, grab a block, and then because it's a photo polymer, and I, this is the first time I've used it, I'm just going to use my stamp and scrub, give it a little spritz of my stamping mist, and that will get rid of any dust or stuff when it was manufactured. So I have a wet side and then have a dry side. Okay, so I think we're going to have a little brown, I think, today. I think we'll have a pecan, pecan pie. Right? I should use grey. I use the smoky slate because I want to have a white um, a white rabbit. So thank you. And then I'll just put him on here. There we go. He is so cute. And then I want to use the I've got my watercolor pencils out. So I put all mine in an old stamp case. We'll go for fresh what pink am I gonna go for? Pink. Thirty flamingo, I think I'll go for. Just give him a little bit of colour on his ears. Oops, you can't see what I'm doing. So, oops. Just go a little bit there, a little bit around his nose. And then I'm going to use a... I think we'll use the aqua pen because it's going to make it just that little bit lighter. So you just squeeze a bit of water. A little bit there. Whoops. Too much water. It's fine. So I'll just go like that. Just colour that bit in a little bit more. There, so, so it's just very light. So see that him there, and then we can punch punch him out. So we line it up. I don't know what's wrong. My cable's gone all the way on my lap. It's better, and it's getting in the way. So we just line him up. And punch it out. Now I'm going to just add a little bit of grey to his tummy just to show, show some some shadow. So that's my grey. A little bit under there. Just do fair, just do like that. And then with my aqua pen, let's just put a little bit of a colour there. Dry and then I can pop him on here like so. And I want the sentiment, so to use something I don't want to use, but can we get away with this with one of our sentiments? Maybe not. So I'm going to. Using the smoky slate and my basic white. I'm going to get a scrap. So I keep all my scraps in the receipt box. And then when I need one, I can just grab a scrap out of it. Obviously, I have lots of white scraps because. That is a colour that I use an awful lot. So I'm going to... Hang on, I've lost my stamps. Have a bit of a tidy up. Right, there it is. Right, so I'm going to use... Happy Easter. So again, it's a brand new stamp. Around 
I'm going to give you a quick clean. Stamp that on there. I like using these because you can actually line them up. Like so. And then we can either cut it square. We can either flag it or something I saw during on stage that I haven't used for a while. Let's just clear this water up. Um, was... If you cut an angle like so, and you want to mirror it that side, you hold your piece, you take the end that you've cut off and then hold it that way. You see? Can get in the camera. And then I can cut along that line. If I can see it in the, sh in the, in the light. That's it. So then I get, I know that each end is parallel. So we can either stick them straight onto the um, card. I'm going to use dimensionals. Now, they all come in as a whole sheet, the, the dimensionals do, like so. And then you get end up with all these bits around the edges. So rather than throw them away, you can cut up each little bit and still use them on our cards. Because we don't want to waste anything, do we? So Put loads on for him. So as I said, during on stage, we get to meet people. Um, we see demonstrations, presentations um, of new products and how they have used them to make cards, 3D item and the scrapbook page. Um, and then we did... We saw some of the new kits coming out, and we got to make a card with that. Um, and we got to see um, obviously we can we we could see in the catalogue, but but unfortunately the rules are we can't show you the inside because that was spoiled. The spoil of the surprise for you when your catalog arrives, but it also means a new catalog that comes out in May also means that we've got some retiring products, and this is one of the sets that will be retiring. So if you if um, if you like 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 the bunny, then you need to get it sooner than later. Also. The 22, 24 in colours, which are those lovely bright ones, they will be retiring. And it's better to get that stuff sooner than later. Because once it's sold out, it's that's it. They won't be won't be replacing it. There's some whole ones there. Put these in the middle. But it was very, very exciting to go and meet people, um, especially the people in in um, in demo support, who we only speak to on the phone. Um, and it's just amazing time. And then next year we're going to Strasbourg in France. So. Right, so let's get that one off.
I'm going to put the Happy Easter up here. There we go. So there's a very simple card. Let's put some gems on it. What gems shall we have? Got any that colour? Just have a look at the gems. Purple. The good news is my favourite gems, the butterflies, are still carrying over, so I'm happy with that. What have I got here? Right, what gem? I think I'm. I might use these ones. These are glitter ones that are in the mini. They are called um, iridescent foil gems. So I don't know if you can see, but they've got little, little bits. They've got it's like silver and gold flecks inside them. So we need those. So I just want. I'm probably just going to do a big one, and then two little ones. Little line there. Like so. And that is a very very simple card to do. Remember, you can change the sentiment and stamped um, image. Let's have a drink. Oops. My, blend is, my blending brushes have just collapsed. This is a messy desk today. Right. So, there's my little notes again. So next, using a similar card base again, and then scored there. I'm go I'm going to do it with a whole sheet of designer series paper. So let's go for let's go for. We have the yellow one for Easter. So I'm going to cut a, a first layer matte layer, which should be 10 by 14.3. Okay, remember we don't get rid of all of our scraps because we can use them to make other cards. Let's move this up again over so you can see what I'm doing. So that was my foam pad sheet. It's all gone. So I've now been that. So this is going to be my nut layer. I then want. I am losing stuff today. I think I'm still in holiday mode. Here you go. So I'm now going to cut the other that bit. I'm just going to now cut a layer that I can stamp on. So this is it's I might do it ten and a half. Just take a smidgen off that edge. Because it's not it's not a straight um measurement. It was a scrap. And then I'm gonna go head by eight, I think. How does that look? Yep. Might even go a little bit smaller. Let's just have this bit here. That is a six. Let's do that bit. There we go. So this will be my stamp line.
I'm actually going to change my. No, I think I think I'll go with it. I wanted to use the ribbon, the duo ribbon that is. Let's look it up. Which is this one here, which is lemon lime twist and petal pink. So let's just cut a couple of those bits off. Because obviously it's getting to the end of the catalogue, which means the ribbons retire as well. So they're not going to go with that. So let's find a colour. Oh no, I'm going to do black and white. Black and white one. I'll do black and white and then I can use that on a different card. So there's the black and white one. That'll look better with that yellow. Because Easter is springtime, it's bright and bold. So that'll look nice there. So on this layer, I'm going to just do stamping. So my little bunny's going to be there. Use the grey again. Put you in there. thinking I might change it I think I might do a different bunny so let's colour it in let's cut that again just a little six eight. hang on let me just check how big my bunny actually is So, I'm going to use this one here, sitting up one. So, he, so that is going to need to be at least six. Oh, oh. Yeah, and he's got six and a half high. Do that by ten again. So I'm going to go for this bunny. So stick him onto the pad. As, is, as this is a brand new set, get a little bit clean. And then let's stamp him. He's going to fit on there, isn't he? Yes, he's going to fit on there. Put him there. So, and I think he could do with it does come with with a carrot. So I think we'll give him a carrot. So let's just clean that again. Now, I'm going to show you a technique that we can do with our Right, let's just change that back. You don't want to see me, you want to see what I'm doing. So, I have got the um, pumpkin pie for the carrot base and the granny apple green for the leaves. 
So using the brush end, like so, put some ink. I just colour over the leaves. And then do the carrot. Oh dear, do that. Like so. And then we have the half. And then we can stamp it for him. I'm going to put it in his hand. Like so. So you can see an easy way to do a carrot or any stamp just by colouring it in like that. And then we can colour the rabbit in. So I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use my, um, neutrals right markers which are here so i'm going to have a brown rabbit so we have got pecan pie uh, we'll use gray granite that is more of a brownie one and crumb cake and we'll get out early espresso just in case we need it so and with these you get a small end and then the brush end so i'm going to do his ears in the gray like so like that and then i'm going to do his tummy bit mm, do tummy all good i'm going to do Let's just have a scrap and see what, see what I think. I'm going to do his his body in the pecan pie. So we just colour it in like so. Let's colour him in. So you see when you use the brush edge you can get a really good thicker line with it. And I'm going to use the lighter one for his body. Now your colouring may be better than mine. Let me give my little brown tail. So I prefer water colour in to use in these, but that, but I can show you how it use whiskers and it do his eye, do his nose. See if I see what this little nose there and a little mouthy there. And then I'm going to very lightly just colour in a bit of the carrot. Mm. 
like so. And then using Granny Apple ink. I'm going to do only a very small block. We can stamp some grass with it. Why is it not working? So I think I might need to re ink my pad. So. Let's try that again. That's better. So I'm just going to add some grass along here. It doesn't really matter if it doesn't come through properly because, as we know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something else we can do. So I want to stamp where my bunny is. Oops, a daisy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a post-it note. Like so, a bit sticky on it. Did the wrong bunny. So silly. But we'll keep that for another time. I need this bunny. So it doesn't matter if I if I stamp him in um, green. because I just want to mask his bottom part of him. So like that. I'm going to just cut that bottom bit there. And then we can stick that over the bunny, like so, and then I can stamp some more grass. Like so, and then lift it off. You can see he's now in the grass. And then we have this now we have a butterfly or a bird. I think I'm gonna go for, for the butterfly. Let's get another ink block out. There we go. And I'm going to do that one in Ooh. Highland Heather. So it's a nice Just try it out, out again. Yeah, we'll do that one. It's a butterfly there. Okay. Close the ink pads up. Because I do like to get messy with the ink. And then I can go on there. There we go, and then 
going to have a bit of ribbon there. And in a sentiment, we will have. What's my plan again? I actually drew drew my sketches out today. Here we go. Of what my cards were going to be like. So I'm going to put that up there, and then my sentiment's going to go down here. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to trim off a little bit off the top, just a smidgen off the top. And then I'm going to do my sentiment down there. So let's go like that. Okay, now want my ribbon's going to go like so. So if I cut it there, so I'm not going to wrap it around. I'm going to stick it to the underside, so it's going to go like that. That there, and a sentiment. What sentiment am I going to use this time? Enjoy all the little moments. Uh, so yeah, we need that one. Enjoy all the little moments. So I need another block. Oops, drop that one. And let's get another scrap of white. Okay, and then I think I'm going to do this one in the lemon. Uh, Granny Apple Green. Like so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut round the words so they don't take up so much space as a complete complete sentiment label like like this one. Oh. So that'll go like that. If I'm going to just trim off that bit there. Like so. So let's stick these down. So for the ribbon, I'm going to use glue dots. They're easier to the stick ribbon. So I'm just going to stick a bit on that end there. And then one on this end. Put it like so. And then stick it onto the guard base. Let's 
so and then I'm gonna pop I'm gonna pop that one up. So I need some of these. And some in the middle. If you can hear a cat meowing, that's Milo. He's on the landing. I'm not sure if he's having a dream or if he just wants to talk. But he is a Cairo cat. So he was rescued from the streets of Cairo. Came over here and now he's living with me. And then the sentiment I will need the minis for. And they fit nicely on this bit. So here, I've got the sentiment on there. And then to finish this off, I'm just going to cut that at an angle. If you're not good at tying bows, this is a great way of getting that effect. And it's so simple. You literally just knot it like so. Okay. So, I've only just managed to make two cards today, but it's, where was that? Where was that rabbit that I stamped earlier? Right, okay, this one. So, let's colour him in blends. Little plum cake, pecan pie, and what about one of the skin tone colours? Um. I think we'll give him a go with colouring with the crumb cake on. So this is the light. So we use the brush end, but I prefer using this. So let's get him coloured in. So then you see the difference. I prefer using the bullet tip. I think my crumb cake might be running out. What's just it sound? I think my crumb cake is running out. Yeah, I. If you look on the nib, you you can see there's not much colour in it. So it's just. So I need to order another one of these. darker one that's really dark that's really really dark so just do these shadowy bits yeah 
I want to go over the body again because I want to make it darker. This is what I like because you can use use the light and you can get different colours of the pen. really struggling to colour this in now. And then I want to do this a bit lighter. I think I want to do that a darker tail. and in his ears And there is our little bunny, coloured in used in the blends. And then I want to do some, I'm going to show you another technique that we can do. And that is, we want some Easter eggs on this one. So I'm going to stamp that using... the grey. Yeah. So I want some Easter eggs here. Okay. Now I want to use designer series paper for some of mine. So I'm going to choose for a nice bright colour. So what you can do is you can stamp onto it two papers like so and then you can cut them out. So I'm going to cut this one out. Just cut it out roughly because the ship because the, the DSP is a bit too big to cut properly. I can't, I can't get it near enough. So we do this. And then we can stick that on there. Like so. And we can have a different colour one. So let's go for this one, this colour. So we stamp it again. I'm going to try and get that one onto a nearly not quite. Oh, I want the middle one. Like so. So that egg will then go like that. And 
And then we need another colour, which I think we'll go for the yellow. Where's that scrap of yellow? There's that scrap of yellow. And I think we will choose the dots because it, it is a dotty one. So try and get as much of the colour as possible. So this technique is called paper piercing. Paper pie piecing. So basically you are stamping the image again onto the onto design series papers, cutting it out. Hello Milo. He's now coming into the craft room. And then we can then stick these on. So this one. So that one, because it's going to have another one on top, go like that. That one we can stick like so. Then this one, I can pop it up with some minis, which are somewhere on my desk. I will take take a picture of my desk once I've gone off of um, the live, and I will post it in my in my Facebook group, so you can actually see how how messy it is today. So let's just get this one off. Like so. So then I can put this onto a card and add add a sentiment. So right, here we go. So, so thank you for joining me today. Um just swap over. And then we'll go back. I want to show you the two cards we made. So these are the two cards that we made today. A little coloured in bunny. And then one using your, your papers at the back. And then how to do paper piecing and colouring the rabbit using blends. So, thank you for joining me today. Just a reminder, if you want any inspiration tutorials or retired products, here's a link to my website. Please remember to subscribe so you get notification when I'm going live. And if you want to shop with me, that's my link. But you can obviously get to it through my website. Please sign up to my newsletter because this week I will be sending out the last chance product from the annual catalogue and from the mini catalogue so you can get them and also this month if you order through my stamping up shop you will get um 20 percent off my retired products next month and if you your order is over 45 pound you will get 50 percent off my retired retired products so until then thank you for joining me i'll speak to you next week when I will be showing you, hopefully, a sneak peek, but it might be one of the kits. So thank you again, and keep stamping and crafting. Bye.